Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. We're up in the mountains near Jacobstown. There was some gunfire a second ago because I think these idiots over here we just got rid of, run into some, ran into something that needed to die. Um, they're now running off into the middle of wherever. We right now are off to try and find a nest full of night stalkers. We got to go kill a bunch of them, and we brought Lily with us, who is a nightkin super mutant with some issues. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go off and do that. And um, hopefully before it gets too dark, unfortunately my recording software is... The overlay is a bit in the way, so I couldn't see what the time was. Yeah, 6.27pm, so let's try and wrap this up before nightfall, if at all possible. What in the name of... Hang on a second. Oh, okay, right, yeah, that's that's wrong quest. <laughs> Alright, we want to go to Charleston Cave. Alright, so we're going actually not going this way at all. We're going back around the other side of Jacobstown. That's interesting. Alright then, fair enough. I thought it would be out here somewhere. Probably foolishly, as it turns out, but yeah, no, we need to go this way. Alright, cool. Fine. Apologies for the jerkiness of my mouse at the minute. My uh, this thing really is on the blink. I think it's going to die soon. This it's it served me well. This Corsair, whatever it was, mouse, but it's just it seems to have degraded over time, and it's just not as high precision as it used to be, like by any stretch of the imagination. And Fallout New Vegas has some weird mouse sensitivity issues to begin with, anyway, as well. So. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to replace it. I think. Not sure what with. Maybe another raise the, raise the death adder. That's what I had before this one. I quite liked it. Although it did have some issues with certain games like Stalker, as I, as I recall. So maybe I shouldn't get the raise of death adder. Maybe I should look at something else now that I think about it. All right, seriously, how the... How the hell am I meant to get back there, exactly? You guys seem to have erected a fairly formidable fucking wall in my way. Am I going to have to go out and around and... Oh, no. I probably am, aren't I? Doesn't seem to be a way out of here. Unless I can just... <laughs> no. Doesn't look like that's going to happen. Ah, oh, for heaven's sake. Can I, uh... I can't sprint for, sprint for very long, can I? Although, having said that... Maybe that is a reasonable amount of sprinting. Um, I I was kind of only just playing Stalker and in Stalker currently because I've broken the game slightly with all the artifacts I picked up. I can now sprint forever, so anything <laughs> that is not completely indefinite sprinting feels like it's not very much at this point, I suppose. <laughs> oh, dear. oh dear, anyway, never mind. Anyway, yeah, this mouse needs to go. I've ugh, it, It's making life an absolute pain every time I try and play anything that involves shooting stuff. I've been working my way through... I've um, <clears throat> uh, been working my way through Mass Effect Andromeda, which is not a bad game. It's all right. It's not bad. I, you know, it has its issues, whatever. I'm not going to talk about Mass Effect Andromeda today. But, yeah, anyway. I was playing a bit of that, and fuck me, it's difficult to shoot enemies when your mouse is... Uh, Specifically, as well to get headshots, to, to when you, when your mouse is just constantly like being the shittest mouse ever. It's difficult to explain unless you're actually sat here trying the mouse out for yourself. But it's got it's like it's got a really low resolution, and I can cycle it through a bunch of settings here, and it just none of them seem to make a difference. I could have sworn I'd set the sensitivity a bit lower than this last time though yeah I did actually I set it to that which is better it's still fucky in the uh, menus and stuff but oh, apparently it reset itself last time I quit out I keep going this way apparently do night stalkers have much armor do you reckon should I switch to a different type of round eh fuck it I'm sure we'll be fine. We've got two fucking super mutants at the end of the day. Hello. Which 
Charleston. Ah, here we go then. This is it. Alright, guys, if we could just. Please, thank you. Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, fuck me. I forgot you guys could turn invisible. I don't know why I forgot that since that's the entire reason we're here, but. Night nice Stalker Blood. No, thank you. Night nice Stalker Tail. <laughs> no, thank you. A glitchy skeleton. Very nice. What are we actually specifically here looking for? Source of the Night Stalker Stealth Mutation. Okay. So, well, what I will do then is I will continue to push through this cave and kill all of the Night Stalkers until <laughs> I find what I'm looking for, presumably. Fucking dark in here, though. I'm actually wearing a baseball cap today so that I can actually stream, I mean stream, sorry, record during the day without the sunlight blinding my ability to see what's on the screen. <laughs> Feels a bit weird wearing the baseball cap like this, but fuck it. Do what you're going to do. It's either that or close the curtains and basically come across as some sort of totally antisocial shut in drawing my curtains during the day which I don't fancy doing either so also I'm kind of lazy because I have to get up, get up and around be be behind the back of the that? desk and stuff and what did you guys just do? Did you walk into a bear trap or something? Um oh. Do I have a companion that can actually lockpick particularly well? I don't think I do. Veronica can Veronica can do the computers. But, uh... I don't think any of you guys are actually particularly good at lockpicking, are you? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god! Fucking hell. Okay. Dead big corners. Night Stalker's lunch, presumably. What's left of it. Please try not to throw things around. Oh, a nightkin. Chewed stealth boy. Uh huh. Tell Dr. Henry you've discovered a potential cause for Night Stalker mutations. Oh! Also, probably killed most of the Night Stalkers. I need a stim pack, and that's not the stim pack button. I've gotten rid of the stim pack button, haven't I? I overrode it. Oh, whoops. There we go. Um. That how you want to play, huh? You know what? There we go. This is better. Uh oh. This doesn't look good. This does not look good at all. This looks like a boss fight area. Um, if, if I had to put my finger on it. Ugh. I sincerely hope it is nothing of the sort. Apparently not, I guess. Fair enough. Fine. 
Yeah, back at the start. Well, that's it. That's it then, I guess. Okay, so. Alright, just in time for nightfall. Sweet. Music hasn't changed. That's interesting. Wonder why that is. I feel like the music should have changed when we left that area, but whatever, okay, fine. So back all the way around here then. I feel like somebody is moving furniture or something next door because I can feel the floor vibrating under my chair right now. I don't like it particularly. I can't hear anything, but I'm feeling the vibrations in the seat of my pants. <laughs> It's like I've got a butt kicker on here or something. It's weird as fuck. But anyway, never mind. Oh, Dr. Henry. Dr. Henry, my dude. I have a chewed stealth boy for you. That's probably not what you wanted to hear, though, is it? I mean... Presumably, if if the Night Stalkers are only turning invisible because they chewed on a stealth boy, that means they don't have a natural mutation. Oh, nothing natural about that, but still, you get what I mean, I think. I got a new keyboard, by the way, on the, on the topic of peripherals. I got a Razer Chroma. Big clacky um, mechanical keyboard, which means you could probably hear it a little bit in the background compared to the old one, but oh my god, it's so nice. Could never have had one of these with the old microphone, just would have been way too loud, but with this mic, I can actually get away with it now, and it's so nice. I've wanted a mechanical keyboard like this for freaking forever, and now I've finally got one, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Plus, the old uh, crappy keyboard I had before was a bit naff as well, so. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, I found a chewed up stealth boy in the Night Stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of Night Stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the Nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Oh dear. Uh, what are the risks of the experiment? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark II has never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. Why Lily and not some of the Nightkin? I think she volunteered, right? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. I'll talk to Lily then. I'll be waiting. Right. Heavens to Betsy, but Mr. Benny met a nasty end. I hope you've realized, Pumpkin, that crime doesn't pay. Uh, if you don't get caught. <laughs> um, uh, did you uh, still want to help Dr. Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, but it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. Oh, well, okay. I really don't. I really hope this doesn't go wrong. I'm, I'm sort of growing slightly attached to uh, this crazy nightkin. Um. The equipment is hooked up and ready. Okay. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go-ahead. Go on then. Very well. 
Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, my God. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero, but that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Uh-oh. Well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Um... Bad motherfucker, you may be slightly in the way, dude. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Oh. What are you planning to do once you have the specs? There are caches of stealth boys out there. With a Mark II in hand, it shouldn't be difficult to upgrade every one of them. I want to tell them that they're more dangerous than the standard stealth boys. But I'm worried if I click that, I will lose the option to use the speech 80 check thing. Uh, well, I guess I quick saved it back there. Mark II is even more dangerous than the standard stealth boys. Our lives, our decision to make. We're tired of sitting around in Jacob's town waiting for a cure. Oh, right. You know what? Oh. Do you know what you do in the wasteland affects all the mutants here, right? You didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Phew. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the so store. many stereotypes. Must have delivered more than just mail. God, fucking Bethesda games. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, man. How janky do you want your game to be? Oh, dear God. Daddy. Just. Just. I, I have no words. Oh, my God. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their minds set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Uh... E what do you want to do? I'm close to the cure. I can feel it. Lily's continued help will give me the last bit of data that I need. Uh, what will happen to Lily? Permanent damage to her mind is a certainty. Even the cure won't help her. Oh, boy. Uh. Yeah. Let me think about this. I understand. Get back to me with an answer as soon as you can. Um, where's Lily gone? Don't you still have business with Dr. Henry? You and I are done. Don't you still have business mm -hmm. with... Don't much like you either, Keen. You out here, Lily? Uh, she's proper buggered off, isn't she? I have no idea where she is. Oh, no, there you are. 
But that lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. Uh, Dr. Henry wants to know if he'll continue to wear the Mark II prototype. Of course I will, dearie, if it's helpful. Don't you worry what will happen to little old me. I'm tougher than I look. Uh, there's a risk the mental damage will be permanent. More than the risk, I think, by the sounds of it. It's pretty much certain. Of course, dearie. You can always say no. I know that, dearie. All right, sure. Certainly. Talk to you soon, dear. Hmm. I mean, she wants to do it, but... It's, it's going to screw her up, like, big time. It's not good. I mean... Don't you still have business with Dr. Henry? You and I are done. Have you come to a decision on Lily? I'll need to know before I can do anything else. 90 science I'd need to get that extra option. Fuck, that's not going to happen anytime soon. Uh, shit, well, if she wants to do it, then I guess she should, for the greater good and all that. Fucking hell. Very well. It will be worth it, I'm sure. Hmm. Who would have thought a freaking night king of all people would, would uh, give me a lesson on noble sacrifice, I guess. Certainly didn't see that coming. Pun not bloody intended. Oh my god. I should slap myself with it. <laughs> 